Every scammer dreams of getting access to a bank account, but my bank has a twist. Viewers from my live stream can drain my bank, forcing scammers to fight against the clock to see if they can scam me before you can. You lost all your money, ma'am, in a minute. One of you got an email claiming that there was a fraudulent transaction on your account, and I thought that scammer would be the perfect individual to help me investigate. All right. And you got a charge. You just you just log into your bank account without telling me anything and see that the money yeah. going out from your bank account or not. He jumped right into it. Okay, yeah, let's go on my bank account, but why not? Yeah, just check it, ma'am, for the confirmation, okay? If you got the charge, I will surely help you out to get the money back, ma'am. Don't worry. Thank you so much. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Once you get on your bank, the scammers will hide your screen so you can't see anything. Oh, I'm so sorry. My computer happened, just turned off. Let me restart it. Oh, shucks. Oh, uh, just give me a moment, ma'am. Man, Listen, ma it turned off. If you what? just... Ah, uh, bummer. Ma'am, sometimes it goes black, then... That's a machine, ma'am. While the screen's hidden, he changes the HTML to make it look like a recent transaction was a PayPal charge. That way, I trust him and I need his help. He edited that. Can you see any charges, ma'am? Can you please check that whether any money going out from your account, yes or a no? PayPal transaction. Ma'am, maybe sometimes, ma'am, uh, someone gets into your computer and they do it instead of you, okay? Do what? They order something from your computer. So don't worry, I am right here to help you out, okay? It's canning to check that is there any hacker gets into your computer or not. He was trying to do a Zelle transfer, but he tried to send like $30,000. So. I think you are out of your account. Can you please log in once work. again, ma'am, and we will check the charges. And when Zelle doesn't work, he decides to trick me with what's known as a refund scam. But really, he's just falling for our trap. What is the refund amount? Like, the amount is charged is four ninety nine, right? Um... I believe so, yes. Again, normally the screen would be hidden, but I have a tool that shows what they're doing. So we are going to uh, help you. I am going to help you out with the refund and a cancellation form so that you can claim your refund directly from there, okay? Oh, perfect. The scam relies on you thinking that you got too much money and out of your own goodwill, you will return it back to them with gift cards or a wire transfer. But while he's tinkering, my live stream is draining my bank. Oh, I just got a notification from my so that bank. You can... <sighs> what was that? I might have made a mistake with the debit card. I was trying to send my credit card to my daughter-in-law. I took a picture of the front and back and I accidentally posted it on Facebook instead of... Okay. I, I, so right I posted now, it instead of sending it to her. I thought I was sending it to her, but instead I sent it to everyone. Do you see Welcome to PayPal Recon Portal? Yes. I just need to check my bank, though. Ma'am, I... what exactly you are trying to do? What oh. you are trying to do, ma'am? You are connected with our portal. Oh, God. I, I was just trying to check my bank. Ma'am, did you want your uh, refund I'm, I'm back, sorry. yes or no, in a simple word? Yes, I do. Please. He eventually notices the random transactions appearing in the checking account. So if any money goes <laughs> okay, in and no, out, then you will... It. If he refreshes the page, his transaction for four ninety nine isn't there anymore because you guys have you pushed have his transaction lower down the list. And straight 4999 went into your account. Are you seeing it, ma'am? Again and again, you are clicking everywhere. I can't really see anything. Um, I don't. I'm trying to figure out how to delete this picture of my debit card off Facebook. That way, people can't use it. I I don't have that much money in the account, dude. If you refresh the page, it's all gone. Five thousand is straight transferred to your account. Can you see that? Oh, sorry. Can I see what? I wasn't in front of the computer. Let me. I'm I'm kind of freaking out about my debit card, ma'am. Can you do me can a favor? Can you go back to the computer? Can you take me to the? I don't know if you're on the computer. Can you go to the home page of my bank for me, ma'am? Are you taking it lightly? Yes or no? No, no. Uh, I, I think there's something going on with my debit card. I'm not taking it lightly at all, ma'am. Five. There's three hundred and sixteen dollars in my account right now. Yes. 
Oh no, that debit card. You just log into your Facebook and delete the post. Just log in. I I I never should have posted that. I I'm going to have to move money from my savings to my checking account. I'm going to get a bunch of fees. Ma'am, I'm going to get overdraft hold on, fees hold if on. I don't move the money. Hold on, I am. You just got 5000 from our and ma'am just put in your login details. Sorry, are you log I don't know if you're Facebook taking this seriously card. right now, but if, if I don't transfer money from my savings to my checking, Fine they're going to gonna give me a bunch no, no. of fees. I'm I am telling you to do it on your laptop or I, computer. I don't know how to log in on there. My grandson saved it on my phone for me. You will lose all your money. I I I I know that. Huh? Ma'am, if you don't return us my money, ma'am, There could be a very big problem, ma'am. You have to face a legal consequences. Oh wow! I have a notification that says your post is trending. What does that mean? So right now, what I'm going to tell you is, ma'am, your most recent post you, has been uh, seen by nine hundred percent more people. What's my most recent post, ma'am? Oh God! Ma'am, are you listening to me? It's the picture. Somebody commented on it and said, "Are you listening to me?" No shoes. You have your debit card, right? No, I'm cutting it up right now. That way, no one can use it. Hold on. Ma'am, you need to return us the money, right? Twenty three. Where is all of the money going? Sorry, what were you saying about how much do I owe you? Ma'am, it was four thousand. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. You don't have money left, ma'am. You don't have a single money in your account. But I do have a little bit. You lost all your money, ma'am, in a minute. I'm sure. I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can get it back. Uh, I think I have to call the bank. Ma'am, they have the number details of your debit card. Oh, okay. I have a thousand dollars in my savings. I can send that to you. Would that help? Uh, for thousand dollars. And what about the rest of the money, ma'am? You lost. I don't know. I. Right now, I'm not going to be able to pay you back the rest until I get my money back. Just do one thing, ma'am. Let me do one thing. I have to figure out how to declare bankruptcy. Ma'am, uh, I have so many new friends you, on okay? Facebook. Seven hundred new friends. So, are you ready right now, ma'am? Like, you are uh, ready to go out? Um, ma'am. Can you hear me? Are you asking me on a date? Are you ready? Are you dressed up to go out? That's what I'm asking you. No, I'm looking up the number for my bank. What do you mean? Am I ready to go out? So, have you heard the name of gift cards, ma'am? A little bit of, I'm in a little bit of a pickle right now, as a, on account of I lost um, like a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so I need to call the bank. Okay, just call your bank. I'll give you a call right away with, uh, after ten minutes. Okay, no worries, ma'am. What a scumbag! <laughs> I feel like this is so. This is absurd. Uh, you watched her lose all of her money. He's quite disappointed when all of my money's gone because that was supposed to be his money. But when I call back claiming that the bank is helping me, he seems interested. While I'm about to make this guy look foolish, it's kind of shocking to see what length scammers will go to to try to trick you and try to scam you. These guys will talk to your bank and sometimes even pretend to be family members if there's a promise of money. I recently partnered with a company called Aura, who has a whole suite of tools centered around identity theft. Their app will let you know if you've been involved in data breaches or if there's anything suspicious connected with your identity, which is good to know before scammers. Use it. I'm getting more and more emails from viewers where scammers use your personal information to trick you into trusting them. Sometimes they have your address, your full name, and even your social security number, which can make them seem official and lead you to fall for their lies. When I first signed up for Aura, I was shocked at how much of my personal information was out there because I'm pretty private about that sort of thing. But I was pleasantly surprised how quickly they started opting out of data brokers and trying to remove that information. If you sign up through Aura.com/Kiboga, viewers will get an exclusive 21-day free trial. You can get a free credit report, check and see if anything sketchy is. On there and see what else they have to offer. Hello. Oh yes, is this? Uh, yes, ma'am. Hello. Are you? Yeah, are you there? Oh, I can hear. Yes, I can hear him. Can you help explain what was happening? Uh, sir, it sounds like you were uh, a actually, bit of a, a witness to what was transpiring. Let me tell you one thing. I'm not. A, I'm. I'm not a witness, but unfortunately, but she he, got all the he, money out he, from he her bank. He was there on the computer while it was happening. Okay, let me just take some notes. So he was on your computer. 
Sir, can you explain it from your point Actually, of view? Actually, she has posted a debit card to Facebook, okay? And someone has okay, hold on. Uh, got you... access to a debit okay, card wait, and someone is on. trying slow, to purchase. You're going to slow down. It, you posted a debit card on Facebook, is that right? I didn't post it. She posted it. But, but well, I didn't mean I didn't mean to post it. Okay, so but he you post posted it, ma'am, right? He posted it, but he didn't mean to. No, I... Not me. Me, it's I her. Posted it. It's her, not me. I didn't put. Why are you blaming on me? Excuse me, uh, Mister. I'm who so, are you? I'm a little confused. I'm. Your, I'm not at all, all right. a witness. Okay. What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> He's like afraid of it. It wasn't me. Don't blame me. I didn't do that crime. So, sir, I just need your official <laughs> statement on record about what happened. Sir, as as as. As much as I know, unfortunately, she got 80000 in her account, and unfortunately, the money goes out. You sound like a pretty credible witness because you were using her computer at the time that she lost all of the money, correct? No, I was yes. not using her computer, ma'am. Did I use your computer? Yes. Okay, so if you were on her computer oh, while this was Oh, now you are happening... blaming on me. So, okay, no, no. Now, ma'am, you are blaming on me, right? I'm not trying to blame you. I uh, no, we're just trying to establish context. I didn't want even, to happen. Listen, listen. I know. Even, we're I, trying to even, don't cry. Sure. Listen, even don't, I don't cry. Even I'm I helped I'm her. I, I'm a sympathetic I'm cry. Don't cry. Don't even cry. Even I helped her to delete the post from the Facebook. Okay, so you deleted. Okay, great. My manager, uh, Josh, who kind of he's the guy who can approve or deny all this stuff. Uh, he's gonna hop on the call really quick. Robert, it sounds like you're an expert witness, a character testimony to Mrs. Winters to prove that she did not do this on purpose. Robert, please state so, your name uh, for the court. Sorry? Uh, can you please state your name? Yeah, it's Robert. Now, where were you on the morning of uh, October 27th, 2022? I was working from my home. And how long have you been working from your home? Uh, from some, since last two, three years. Is it two years or three years, son? You need to be specific. It's three years. Now, what were I you doing listen, with the listen. defendant this afternoon? Sir, listen, he I'm was, not going to get into any of the me. legal consequences, I'm asking okay? the questions, Robert. I would appreciate if you answer the questions. We don't have a lot of time. I didn't notice this at first, but his voice seems to be shaking. Like, he's nervous to be talking to the bank. Doesn't want to mess up. Doesn't want to get in trouble. So, I cannot tell you anything because I don't want to go into the legal consequences, okay? No, please, please. Unfortunately, it's not her mistake. She lost the money from her bank account. She has not done anything. She has only it's done, she has posted true. her card it's exactly on Facebook. What happened. Ma'am, with all due respect, I need you to keep your lips sealed, all right? If it helps, you can pretend it's got a zipper on it and, and close it up and spit out the key. What? I'm telling that it's not her mistake. She posted her card in Facebook by mistakenly and she lost her all the money. Okay, you posted her card on Facebook and that's how she lost all the money. I didn't post it, oh, man. You exactly. don't understand. I didn't. She posted it. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay, so he took your card. Ma and ma'am, was that with or without your permission? Are you, are you understanding? Uh, I think I, I understand, I Robert. It sounds like, like you accidentally posted a card. Allegedly, it was an accident. I didn't post it, her man. I didn't post it, her. She posted the card. Right. Just raise a dispute, man. We're almost done. I, I am trying. I don't even need to raise it. It was actually raised by my representative, Josh. I I'm sorry. Did you say I'm something? I'm telling you over the record. Uh, oh, Josh, Listen. I don't need you. I I'm sorry. Okay, I heard my name. So I'm just trying to figure out. I am telling you, listen, how listen, exactly listen, did you, you get caught up me? in this whole thing? He what was I'm helping me on the computer. The, did he contact I, you what, on listen, Facebook? Listen, listen, whatever, or? listen, whatever it was, just re return her money. It was not her fault. Don't you guys get the point? All right, I'm just going to read a couple of these transactions really quick and make sure that I can verify that these aren't any of your purchases, all right? Okay. Jagex for $11. I don't know what that is. Uh, I believe Jagex makes a massively multiplayer online game. I don't know any of the words you just said. I got another one here that says pay less shoe source. I know. 
That's uh, two thousand one hundred and ninety-three dollars. How, how does someone even spend that much money on shoes? I don't know, ma'am. You tell me. I didn't do it. I'm gonna see what I can do to get this all sorted out and get you all uh, get all these charges canceled and get everything back to normal. Okay. Oh, thank God. Uh, how much time is gonna take to get her money back? All the money. Uh you know, that's a very good question. No worries. Take your time, man. I'm just asking because I know she is very old. Well, I'm not cold. The house is nice. They said that they got word from the fraud department that your case has been approved. But we're not out of the woods yet. Okay, no worries, ma'am. What, what do you mean? Ma'am, you can disconnect uh, their call, ma'am. I'm going to get Jennifer on the line, actually. She works in the accounts department, and she's going to just kind of explain a little bit of our provisional credit system okay all right that's fine um hi mrs winters i understand that i have you and your husband robert on the phone is that correct no uh, no sorry it's it's not not husband and wife oh okay well congrats on their recent engagement that's so exciting that didn't happen sorry jennifer i i submitted the information Actually, wrong a couple times you gotta go to the let fifth, me let me you let me go to tell her let, i'm not her husband or not her fiance nothing I am just okay. helping. I just tried to help her, and unfortunately, she lost all the money because she has posted oh her card God, on Facebook. Oh my God! That is terrible. I, oh ma'am, I'm so and sorry. After that, I, I, I know. And I, I, I helped oh her to you know, delete I've the post from the Facebook. I've made mistakes like that before too. It's okay. I actually, we have a great fraud team, and so if you want, I can get you transferred over there, and we might be able to like. Whatever mistake that Robert made, I think we can get that fixed. No, I think it's already taken listen, care of. Listen, Jenny, I didn't done any mistake. Uh, Jenny, are you okay? there, Jenny? I didn't done any mistake. I'm asking when she will get um, the money back. The money okay, which yeah. uh, goes so out it could from take, her account. Unfortunately, it could take anywhere between, I don't know, 5 and 25 business days. No, that's so long. Uh, okay, but... We can offer you a uh, part of our provisional credit system. So because you've been a customer with us for a while, we'll be able to give you a credit of uh, $5,000 just for, you know, to help you out in the next couple of weeks with your bills. And um, like we're looking at your typical spending and all that. We're, we will be able to give you a $5,000 provisional credit with 30% APR cashback refinancing. Is that good? Uh, if I could just jump in here for a second. Oh, that's fine. Now, in this economy, right, 30% APR is not that bad. Okay. Uh, yeah. Take it take it from him. Take it from me, ma'am. When would I when would I get the money? Okay, so the $5,000, basically we would just need your whatever account you want the $5,000 sent to, and that would be wired within the next 10 minutes and you would have that. Can you please send it to her savings account? I thought he was going to say, "Can you send it to me?" and I was like, "No." No, Winters, I was there? baiting him with that, though, if I'm honest. That's why I did that, because I was curious. Hello, Winters, are you there? Uh, I'm here. I'm here as well. Yeah, ma'am, I'm asking you to take the money okay. take the okay. money on your savings account. Uh, just to keep your records straight, I'm also still on the line. Oh, God. Your family is our family. So I'm just, ask, I'm just asking Winters to take the money on her savings account. We're going to put a freeze on your debit card and we'll get a new one sent to you. I already cut it up. That, that's, almost... really, that's really good thinking, man. That's really good thinking. Yeah, I cut it with scissors so no one could use it. Oh, wow. I got it canceled. Don't Mister, instead, of, instead of talking, can you please return her money or whatever the money you are giving her? Well, can Robert, you maybe that? if you weren't that talking so us. much, we could all concentrate with all due respect. True. All right. It should be in there. I was able to get 3300 sent to you provisionally. Is there anything else that we can help you guys with? Okay, ma'am. Once yes. you are done, you Actually, just give me a call back. Yes, I'm waiting for your call back. There is a little bit more that you can help us with. I have to send Robert. How much money was it, Robert? Once you are done with them, just give me a call, okay? No, well, I already got the bank here, so I figure they can help because I owe you... Um, <laughs> He hung up because he's, of course, he's not going to say. Robert tried pretty hard to get my money back, but it's just because he wants to steal it. You know that my job is in your hand because you received 5000 from us by mistakenly, right? Oh, right. Yes. What I'm telling you is, ma'am, you don't you... have to pay me the total amount. 
Maybe a hundred dollars? You do one thing. Uh, you can give me maybe two thousand dollars today. Maybe two hundred. No, ma'am, not two hundred, ma'am. If you give me two hundred dollars, there will be. I lost. I'll lose my job. Actually, you know what? What if you put your boss on the line, and then I'll I'll be a witness. Okay. Just like you did for me, I, I'll save. I'll save you just like you saved me. Let me call my manager in front of you, okay? Yeah, hi. Am I speaking with Mrs. Winters? Hi, this is Mrs. Winters. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Uh, Mrs. Winters, this is uh, Robert, the senior accounts manager. First of all, how are you doing, ma'am? You're both th- you're both named Robert. Can he? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure. So is it like the Robert Bruno you were speaking before me or it was someone else? Who are you sitting next to right now? Whose office are you in? Uh, I am sitting with Eric. Hey, Eric. And uh, so, like, the person you spoke with, his name was Robert Brunus. That's correct. I mean, my junior, actually. So we both uh, usually get confused. So our name is Robert 1 and Robert Sr. So oh. it's more or less Robert Jr. and Robert Sr. <laughs> and then Eric is the nickname that you use sometimes. That's clever because it's yeah, like yeah, Robert. exactly. That, that. So we both work in the same company, and Man, uh, I am his senior. <laughs> SMH in the, my head. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I won't comment on that because nepotism is quite uh, what it's the reality. So yeah, we work in the same company, and I'm his senior in the company as well as in the life, you know. So yeah. I, I'm I'm more or less his father, more as well as I'm his senior. So yeah. Why would you fire your son? To understand one thing, I am not really going to fire him, but uh, we all work for a oh, company, and okay. we have it was a just kinda policy, like a, right? Like a- yeah. A warning, kind of like. I mean, a, I'm not legally just for, allowed. You had to say it that so way I'm everyone would hear it, and they would think that he was going to get fired. But you're not really going to fire him. Basically, it. in like reality, bluff. in it's office, a bluff, so everyone else in the room no, thinks not, you're not gonna really fire a bluff, your, okay, But yeah, I mean, I, I got you. I was going to offer to pay or whatever, but why don't we just wait 14 to 25 days until I get my money, and then. We'll handle it from there, okay? It's not me who will be taking the action all alone, but rather it's our company, HR, Human Resource Manager, and all of them. I mean, the, our accounts team and all that. So they will all be taking care of it. So, oh, so in that policy, oh, it is clearly mentioned. So you're going to step like that down happens. from your position so he can keep his job? Uh, may- that is so uh, Maybe sweet. not me stepping down. No, no. Oh. You are getting it wrong, Mrs. Winters. You it's not me who's going to step down, rather he. So, uh, Mrs. Winters, let me give you a deal, okay? Uh, it's a very listen, small deal or it's a very If you want, I can it. tell HR that it was my fault. I'll tell them everything. But if you want that to That won't help, down, ma'am, I mean, because you are a customer. Father of the year. Uh, just be... Not, not, uh, not now, right? So I'm just talking about now. How much are you comfortable to pay back? Okay, I'll say numbers, and you tell me to stop when you think mm-hmm. it's a good amount. Okay, fifty dollars, sixty dollars. Ah, come on, I mean, it was about five thousand dollars. We can't be starting from fifty, ma'am. Come on. Oh, okay. Sorry, <clears throat> seventy-five dollars. You can start from five hundred. You can start from five hundred. Oh God! No, then we I... can stop at a certain. I was thinking maybe two hundred max. At least a ten person would be required. You know, I mean, at least a ten person so that I can, you know, rectify his explanation. Oh, you know because what? Because we Actually, need to. We are answerable, you, right? Can you just pay the five hundred, and then I'll pay you in like fourteen to twenty-five days? If you are honest, you would obviously return a oh, part of it, maybe a twenty, ten percent, or twenty percent of it. Is your son a good, honest man? Do you believe? I, I do believe that. He told you that he sent five thousand dollars to me. Uh, it was Is not him, ma'am. Said? It was from our company's account. Sir, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I think your son's lying. Uh, did you check it? I don't have any transfers from. This is kind okay, of. You don't have any transfers from this us. This is kind of cringe. All right. Uh, let's do one thing. If there is no such transfers from us, I let me speak your with your bank and let me just. To you and me. Oh, maybe. And you know what? He okay, was hiding. My, he kept my... hiding. The screen kept disappearing. You don't think he was trying to? Oh no, sir. Okay, let me do one thing. Rather, uh, Mrs. Winters. Sure, uh, let me just uh, ask been... him to talk to the bank. He might have been doing something. Uh, let me just ask him to talk doing. to the bank and then stop your refund Do you think? or the claim which you are doing. Yep. So I'm just going to ask the bank to stop all the transactions, all the refunds into your account. I'm not sure why would you say that, but it's fine. I'll just ask uh, the bank to stop it. all I'm the transactions. I'm looking at my somebody added a Zelle recipient. Uh, it, it, uh, 
I don't even recognize this. Isn't it this. your... Uh, all right, I'll just speak with the bank so that they don't cancel it. I'll rather talk to them and solve it out, ma'am. Thanks okay. a lot for your time, Mrs. Winters. Should I give you my lawyer's phone number or... Uh, uh, we'll just send you the notice accordingly. Then you can just, you know, let oh. your lawyer know about it. Okay, so you, it's have, fine. you have my address? Yeah, we do have that, yeah. All right, just for verification. So you are not willing to pay us the money back, right? Well, in 14 to 25 days, sure. Why should I help you out? Instead of paying it back, you're I stretching. lost $100,000 today. I am going to tell your bank that you spend all the money and you are lying in front of them. I am the witness, ma'am. Do it, you won't, Yeah, Robert. I'm going to say it to you. I'm going to directly I'm gonna directly call you over the uh, over it, you your uh, number. Robert, eight. I don't have a lot of time, son. I told her she, I gave her my direct number in case she had any questions. Now, what do you want? No, 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 no. I, do it, Robert. You I'm going to call them. Do it. And she, do it, Robert. She spent the money. Do it, Robert. She spent money right. with her own. I can recommend a marriage counselor you, okay? if that's what you need. Listen to me. She spent the money with her, okay? She spent money by her own, and now she is lying. You lied under oath, then. Because she has given me some money for lying. How did she pay you? Come on, Robert. How did I pay? She paid me in cash. Now, let's say hypothetically so I you believe your things. story. Robert, what does Mrs. Winners look like? That is a really good question. That was none of your business, man. Ah, it's just I don't believe you, Anna Kenna. You lied earlier. So what does she look like since she gave you cash earlier? No today? worries. Uh, I, I, I have all the recordings. Okay, don't worry. Are about you telling that. me this eighty eighty two year old woman made over seven hundred transactions in two minutes? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. He just he just bailed. <laughs> I hope you had fun watching and maybe learned a few things. Shout out to Ryan Trahan for a little bit of inspiration with your Penny Challenge video. And as always, know that you're valuable and you matter. Bye.